Welcome back everyone to my channel. In this video, we are going to have the configuration of high availability or HA in this topology by using FortiGate firewall. And I hope you will like this video. If you do, do not forget to like, comment and share. Also subscribe and click on the bell icon for my new update. Because if you subscribe, this give me more energy to make new videos for you. So let's get started configuring high availability by using FortiGate firewall. So as you can see, this is our current topology. So we are going to have only one standalone firewall without having the redundancy. So if this firewall goes down, our LAN zone workstations or from our DMZ zone workstation network, they will not be able to get the internet connection. They all rely with this firewall only. So we are going to add one more firewall. So click on node 40 gate in this firewall 40 gate 6.2.3 and click on save. So this is going to be 40 gate, 40 gate underscore H a, this is going to be two. So what are you going to do? First, we are going to move this DMZ to over here. This is going to be like this and our this 192.168.11 and that was one is coming over here. This IP address is configured for this port three in 40 gate, 40 gate H a one. So what are you going to do? We are going to place over here this 40 gate firewall. 2 HA2 and we are going to turn off this device stop and we are going to stop this WAN switch this is going to be our WAN switch WAN switch and also this one switch 3 and as well as switch 4 we are going to have the connection between WAN switch to high availability 40 gate high availability firewall 2 you can see that we are going to use port 1 for WAN connectivity so click on save because we are going to use port 1 for 40 gate firewall high availability 1 40 gate high availability firewall 1 so same port we are going to use for 40 gate firewall high availability 2 so we are going to use port 1 to both the devices for WAN connection so as you can see from LAN zone we are connected with port 2 in 40 gate firewall 1 I mean 40 gate underscore HA firewall 1 we are going to have one more connection to 40 gate high availability 2. So in this case we have to use port 2. Yes. And also from DMZ as you can see we are going to use port 3. So DMZ is connected with the port 3 in 40 gate high availability 1. So same connection we are going to have to this firewall 40 gate high availability 2. Yes. And finally we are going to have the connection between this firewall with port 4 as you can see port 4 we are going to use for heartbeat connection this is going to be our heartbeat connection let me have one text so this is going to be our HB link so this is going to be our HB link let me make a little bit big yes so you're going to start all the devices first we are going to start WAN switch and 40 gate HA1 and 40 gate HA2 switch 3 and switch 4 so I'm not going to discuss about about all the connections and active and passive because if you watch my previous video I have already given the lecture about the overview of 40 gate high availability or HA so I recommend you to watch my previous video then you will have better idea about this topology and about this high availability configuration so you're gonna have the console for high availability 1 and 40 gate 2 as well so as you can see this is unconfigured I haven't configured anything over here in 40 gate HA2 except I'm going to configure high availability configuration I'm not going to configure interfaces and then security policies NAT policies so first I'm going to configure 40 gate HA1 username is admin password is also admin so what are you going to do config system HA so we are in high availability mode as you can see First, I'm going to set the set group group ID is going to be 10 and then set group. This is going to be group name. So group name, I'm going to use 40 F O R T I 40 underscore H A. So this is going to be our group name and then set mode. We are going to use A P A dash P active and passive mode. And then set password. We are going to have the simple password for demonstration purpose only. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then so set heartbeat deb and then 
this is going to be heartbeat port we are going to use port 4 and then we have to use integer also integer is going to be i'm going to use 0 and then set priority so we are going to use priority 200 the device who is having the higher priority is going to be the active one is going to be the active firewall so i'm going to use priority 200 over here in this 48 ha1 and then set monitor we are going to monitor the high availability information using this port port number is going to be port 4 port 4 enter that's all okay so we have configured high availability in fortigate firewall 1 and as you can see config system interface show see I have configured IP address in port 1 and then I have configured IP address in port 2 and then you can see alias LAN role is also LAN next for, for port 3 which is connected to the DMZ zone as you can see DMZ we are going to configure the FortiGate high availability 2 firewall 2 default login is admin there is no password just hit enter because this, this device is fresh without configuring anything what I'm going to do I'm going to set the new password which is going to be admin and confirm password is also admin now first config system global I'm going to change the host name set host name is going to be 40 gate underscore h a underscore 2 there it is and then and then you will see the changes now what are you going to do config system interface show as you can see nothing I have configured over here config T oops this is not Cisco Cisco device so config system H a now first I'm going to set set group ID group ID as you can see here in 40 gate firewall 1 H a 1 what are you going to do config yes config system H a then if you show you will see that group I group ID I have configured 10 so I'm going to set group ID is going to be 10 and then set group name so group name this also this should be same as you can see group name I'm going to set the same thing so I'm going to copy from here copy and paste it over here 40 gate underscore H a so you're going to use the same group name set mode this is going to be a set mode a dash p means active and passive now set password is going to be one one two three four five six we are going to use a simple password set heartbeat port hb deb heartbeat deb and then this is going to be port four port four now integer is going to be zero and then set priority is going to be lower than 200 so we are not going to use 200 because this is going to this is going to be our secondary firewall so i have to use less than that which is going to be i'm going to use 150 which is less than 200 that's fine and then set monitor we are going to monitor monitor over this port port is going to be port 4 hit enter now we will see diagnose and then di diagnose system ha status now I should be able to see slave and master so this is our firewall serial number as you can see so it's still not yet synced as you can see this is saying slaves external files are not synced with the master which is correct so what I'm gonna do let me let me take this one show config system interface show as you can see nothing is came here we have to wait for some time then you will see the interface configurations and then security policies NAT policies so as you can see this is going to be our active let me show you active this is going to be our active firewall active yes so i'm going to have duplicate this firewall is passive passive show so not yet let me go back to 40 gate ha1 show and then diagnose system h a status so as you can see this is going to be the master one so this 40 gate firewall one is master and then h a 2 is slab 
and also you will see that they will identify each other as you can see 169 they are going to use the IP IP address they will identify each other by using this port 4 and this port 4 I haven't configured IP address or anything else so they, they will identify each other for high availability configuration by using their MAC address we are going to check from here let me open one computer from here from LAN so we are going to use 10.2 IP config 10.2 and let me check the internet connection 8.8.8.8 and let me have the continuous ping yes I have so we are going to stop this device so let me shut down this device by this execute shut down shutting down this device FortiGate HA1 which is the active one so stop this one enter yes why yes system is shutting down now let me check firewall 2 as you can see slave succeeded to sync external files with master now it succeeded admin and then admin config system interface show as you can see I can see all the IP addresses for I can see the IP address for port 1 port 2 and as you can see the alias is LAN and we can see port 3 as well and here as you can see my system is running without having any interruption I want to see that any ping drops packet sent 89 received 89 so I'm gonna check now 99.2 yes admin and admin so we will see HA2 now as you can see 40 get HA2 and network if you go to interfaces there it is now if you see now and diagnose diagnose system HA status now you can see this is the master we can see only one master without having slab so he is saying that I am the one who is master I don't have any slab right now because I can see only there is only one firewall so my peer is down and you also can some you know debug diagnose debug and then HA you can see you can make some debugging also so this firewall is down now as you can see active is down so passive is active now and so whatever we have configured in firewall 1 for example when which is the IP address 192.168.99.2 this came this is came over here now so whatever we have configured in 40 gate HA1 firewall so firewall 2 has taken from the firewall firewall 1 he always keep an eyes on firewall 1 for the gate HA firewall 1 if he is go if he goes down then I'm gonna take over his configuration so if he goes down then I will be I will be active firewall so this is very important that heartbeat link so the information high availability information is going through coming and going through over port 4 so now as you can see 192.168.10.1 is it is here now because this should be here yes it is for port 2 this is here and when is going to be here this is here yes so this is now active firewall so once we start this device once we start this device then again this will be an active you will see the message over here because he is having the higher priority for the gate HA1 this is going to be my serial number as you can see S81 so this will be master for get login admin admin diagnose system HA status still this is slab I can see this should be master S81 S81 is slab maybe he needs some time yes I have internet connection so anyway this is the master one even because the all configuration is here now so what we are going to do we are going to stop this device passive oops I should be that, that is wrong way as you can see only one ping is request timed out because I forcefully shut down this one which is not correct so what do you have to do let me check now this is the master one SAD one now so always shut down this one execute and then shut down like this
if you do like this force shut down if you do force shut down the device will not get all the information from here then you will face some issues high availability configuration issues so we are going to start this device again and if you have any questions any doubt any queries let me know leave your comments i will try to respond to your questions as early as possible so this is our configuration video regarding high availability in fortigate firewall in my previous video i have given the overview of high availability configuration by using fortigate firewall in this i hope this video has been informative for you if you like this video do not forget to like comment and share also subscribe and click on the bell icon for my new update because if you subscribe this give me more energy to make new videos for you thank you for watching